this is G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Default! Let's... What, what's going on with the title screen here? Something wrong with my 3DS here? Or 2DS XL? Hmm, that's weird. Some of the letters went out for some reason. Eh, pay no attention to that, viewers. Sorry for the technical difficulties. But yeah, that title screen changes after having spoken with Ringabel after awakening the first three crystals in the third world there for some reason. But okay, so what we need to do in order to progress with the plot is we need to go see Sage Yuliana. If you try going to the Temple of Earth at this point, you'll be blocked by an invisible plot wall. So yeah, now we have to go here. And, let's see, let me just double check. Okay, the encounter rate is good. Hey, how's it going? Hmm? Ah, oh, I thought I heard something. This place draws few visitors, I fear. You got another Bravo bikini, Pranius? And who might you be? Don't you know? I am Anya's Oblige, Vessel of the Wind. Ho oh, ho! Little Anyas, is it? Yeah, I suppose we haven't visited him in this world until now, so I suppose you wouldn't know who we are. My, how you have grown, child. Oh. You were scarce more than a little sprout when your predecessor brought you here. Now look at you, a fine woman you've become. All grown up. Fine and plump and <laughs> pleasantly jiggly. I've got a nice trampoline in my backyard here if you care to jump on it up and down. Or not. <laughs> Why the long face? If there is anything this feeble old man can do for you, name it. Sage, do you remember me at all? He just said he did, didn't he? Hmm? <laughs> Dude? <sighs> well, you'd better come inside. What do you mean inside? You live in a tree! You don't exactly have a door to the place, but... Okay. Now then, I was about to pour some tea for us. What do you think you are, Night Elf? But I fear this may not be the time for sitting quietly with a hot brew. Why not? Sage. Let me ask you this. If I bade you come with just one other, would you know why? No. Yes. Oh, uh, or yes, but do you know? I mean, we don't need the Vestal Garb to be repaired. Well, this is quite astonishing. To think such events were even possible. What do you mean? Very well then. I will spare you the details and keep this simple. You must decide who is your most trustworthy ally. Oh, we've already been through that part. Then travel to the nearby cave with them. You will find it to the southwest of here. Again? I shall go on ahead. I would advise you to heed my words. You must bring only one ally with you. Your other companion should wait outside the cave. I shall see you soon. Well, I'm not sure why that's particularly important, but okay. Let's just keep on going. Fortunately, though, there is something else we can do in the cave, and that is collect the blue chest. And it has a really, really good piece of equipment in there that I would like to get. So, let's head on over there. And, yeah, we'll just go to the bottom of the cave. Let me double check my abilities here. Okay, that ought to be good enough for Tiz. I'm just going to leave my party members in their boss setup for now. We should be fine. Tiz can pretty much one-shot anything with Godspeed Strikes and Mimics and all that. You're just going to ignore me, Anya? Yep. It's no fair. T 
she's gets to have all the fun. Ha <laughs> ha. I am sorry, Airy. I hope you can understand. Go on, get going already. Get on we'll with be it. Back soon. Give the master my regards. Well, what do you mean by that? Hmm. But okay, we gotta go through the cave again. The enemies are the same, so I'm not gonna show any of the random battles. But it'll be easy enough for us to get through here. I wouldn't even bother stealing from any of the enemies here at this point. At this point, as long as you're only running into three enemies at a time, we can kill them with just Tiz alone. Uh, now that we got the Brave Suit, we can do three Godspeed Strikes in a single round. The same number of licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. And as far as... Uh, en enemies can show up in groups larger than three. But that's not extraordinarily common. Just like this piece of armor, the Luminous Robe. And it's a very good piece of armor because, just like the Gaia gear, it boosts a particular or a specific element of damage by 50% all by itself. And I'm going to want to put that to use as soon as I get out of this cave. Not much I can do with it here, at least. So, all right, let's continue to the end. Yeah, if you run into a group of enemies larger than three, just have Agnes use whatever elemental spell is appropriate from the black magic there. But usually, I'll just leave her as is. I don't even have her with, like, pierced magic defense. You don't really need her to contribute to the offense very often anyway. And I'd rather not have to switch my setup again, if I can help it. Remember that Agnes has access to the dark spell from Black Magic, so that could be useful for her, too. There's also a couple undead enemies you can encounter down here, so you could use the Sage's Staff to deal with them, to save on MP a little bit. Man, I'm getting pretty good at predicting when these encounters are about to happen, so I know when to stop my sentences. But, alright, we made it to the bottom here. Uh, let's see what we want to talk about down here, I guess. Hey, how's it going? There you are. Couldn't we have just gone into the basement of your house or the backyard or something to talk privately? No? Ah, so this is the one you have chosen. I envy him. You make a fine pair. <laughs> Uh. Were I a thousand eight hundred and eighty years young? What? You're not ready to lay down and die yet. We know. Do you? Evidently. And I'm the very image of the angel you encountered one thousand eight hundred eighty years ago. Oh, I see. I've already spoken of such matters, have I? Oh, I thought that was Lord DeRosa who told us that, but okay. I suppose now, they would both know. Tell me, why have you two come to me again? Yeah, what's going on? I wanted to be alone with Agnes. Oh, really? What? <laughs> you little devil, you! Ha uh ha! -huh. Huh? I didn't mean it like that! At least in the way I think you're thinking! <laughs> Tis, was it? I thought you were lost cause, but it seems you've some fire inside you. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, sure. Look, she's blushing. Put the girl out of her misery with a big kiss on the lips! Shut up and kiss her already! Please, I'm trying to be serious here. Oh, or that. Tis, no, I'm telling you, I really didn't mean it like that. Then what did you mean? <laughs> it just seemed uh, uh, unusually timed how she just got to the point. Ringabell regained his memory, and not just part of it this time. He did? When was this? Oh, just yesterday. Just a short time ago. I'm the only one he's told so far, but he wanted me to tell you something in private. Something he remembered. 
How important could it possibly be? In private? I did not think Ringabel to be the sort of man to mistrust his comrades. Hmm. I believe he had his reasons. But what could he possibly remember that would warrant such secrecy? Before we get to that, I'd like to ask the sage about that angel he encountered. Of course. I will tell all that I know. Hmm, reminds me of when I came here before and I was asking about the voice acting and music balance. Now it seems pretty good. I can pretty clearly hear what Yuliana's saying this time. I don't know why this song is loud, though. Did the angel mention anything to you other than the crystals? I mean, loud as in louder than other songs at the same volume. Other than the crystals? Hmm. Yes, I believe her words were, I was deceived by the evil one. Was it a giant skull on top of a pair of stilts? No, no, that's another game, viewers. Her voice was heavy with regret. Why was that? The evil one? This evil one used deceit to drive the four crystals out of control. Oh, and then what happened? That tore the barrier between worlds, she said, opening the way to the world beyond. <gasps> no! Well, what do you mean? So... Okay. Uh, and was this a hypothetical future she saw? No. The angel and her two comrades had stood before that evil in battle that day. Yeah, it sounds like it didn't turn out too well for them. It was after her allies were slain that the creature boasted of what it would do. She spoke to me with lifeless eyes, drowned in tears. Uh, what then? As the angel faded before my eyes, she said to me, Deliver unto me this pendant when next I return to you. But the angel died, didn't she? And should I appear before you with the evil one, hesitate not to do what you must to us. You speak of this pendant. And was this evil one the angel spoke of with us when we first came to you? Yes, I dare say so. Uh-oh. Then... I could not do it. I could not, knowing I would have to slay you, Vestal, precious girl. Then why did you bother helping us? I don't know. I don't think they ever explained that. I mean, all he had to do, instead of killing us, just say, No, I, I forgot how to make the Vestal Garb, or No, I'm not going to help you. Or, no, I'm not going to encourage you to awaken the crystals. But he didn't. He just helped us and let us go upon our merry way to help this evil one for some reason. I don't know why. I see. Then, to remove all doubt from the matter, I ask you now, this evil one. Yeah, I don't think they ever explained that. I wish to hear no more! Onyes. I cannot bear to hear of matters so dreadful. Well, you are. For if what you say is true, then I... You what? Forgive me. I never wish to put you in this position. But I cannot believe Ringabel would lie to me. Not about something like this. That's why. You trust Ringabel then? That's why you brought her down here by yourself. I do. I trust Ringabel, along with Idea, and you too, Agnes. I trust you all. Very well. Then I shall trust in him too. I like how, even though she cannot bear to hear the truth, she does get, get come to her senses relatively quickly. 
Thank you. Instead of just, you know, living in great denial. We ought to be returning to the others now, Sage. You be careful now. Ah, and before you go, there is another matter. One Lord De Rosso and I have studied this last millennium. Oh? Uh, what's that? Were you aware that should a crystal be destroyed, it will eventually regenerate? Oh, really? Well, I guess it did kind of work like that in Final Fantasy V, so it's not unheard of. What? Truly? So long as its core remains, it can grow once more through the power of mortal hopes and dreams. Oh, really? Hmm. Well, yeah, you might have noticed there was a little core, a little circular nucleus or whatever in the middle of the crystal. That's the core of it. The passing of thousands of years will see it grow to its original size and power. So, what will happen in the meantime? I mean, we lose the benefits of the crystal for thousands of years? That sounds like a really bad idea. And this crystalline core you speak of? You need look no further than the pendant about your neck, my dear. What? This stone? What about it? <laughs> a rather fine gift, wouldn't you say? I'm so delighted to see you kept it safe. Oh, uh, thanks, I guess. Sage. Now, I must leave you, but not without a word of advice. Do you have an alternative course of action? Have the courage to think and act on your own and have the courage to disobey. Well, okay, we already heard that before, but thanks, I guess. But, all right. But yeah, that does kind of beg the question. Okay, so this evil one wants us to awaken these crystals, to break down the barrier between worlds, and that's how we are going from one parallel world to the next, right? I mean, we've already seen that. But... To what end? That doesn't seem to be accomplishing much of anything. Hmm. Well, we'll have to figure out more about this, but... Now that they do explain, eventually, but not right now. So, let's get out of here. Welcome back. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Thank you. Old fart hasn't filled your head with strange thoughts, has he, Anya? Oh no, that was his job. Uh, Ari, you, you needn't worry about me. He did me no harm. But I'm a Christ fairy, bound body and soul to the Vestals. Of course I worry. Aww. And yet you've been pushing me away lately. Christ fairy or not, you've no right to interfere in another's love. What? Wait, what? <laughs> I just like the way she said that. <laughs> uh, hang on. What? So tis. How was it? <laughs> oh, ring a bell. Uh, uh, fine. Uh, couldn't have gone better. Couldn't have gone... What's going on between you two? Come on, Agnes, out with it! Details! Details! <sighs> <laughs> say no more, Tiz. <laughs> no, do say more! <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> yes, inquiring minds want to know! <laughs> Uh-oh, you're stuck now! Agnes and Tiz, are you two really... No, that's not... Yes, that's exactly it. Isn't it, Agnes? Isn't it? No. Isn't it? Yes. You mustn't encourage them, Tiz. <laughs> this is great. Been some time since we've had any good news. Ah. 
<laughs> but alright, okay, so now we could actually continue with the plot, but we've got more asterisk bearers to take care of. First thing we should do, as long as we're going to be in the area, let's hop back to Liliana's place. Well, so we finally made some actual plot progression for the change. What a concept! Hmm? Where's the sage gone? Hmm? What's this? Dude? It's written in his hand. I await you at the chamber of the Council of Six in the land where all began. Conjurer Yuliana. Conjurer? Thought he was a sage. Hmm. Well, okay, yeah, we gotta go... Well, I'll just tell you. We need to go to Eternian Central Command. And fortunately, we can just take the same way that... Or, well, you can do the same thing. You could go to Westmore, take the western entrance, and it'll spit you out at the southern entrance for some reason. But you, it'll save you the trip of having to go through random battles and all that stuff. But I do want to rest up here, as well as change my setup a little bit here. Let's see. Okay, so with Tiz, I want to set him up for stealing. There's some good stuff we can steal for good money. Agnes, you will remain the same. Let's see, Tiz, let's put you on the thief gloves there. And let's see. Yeah, you know what? Why don't we go with the Gale Bow? Yes. Yeah, I want to go with that. For now. And with Adia, now I've changed the setup because, well, we've got something that's just about as good as the, uh, what is it, the natural talent ability. So we've got physical attack buffs there. We don't need a whole lot of speed to go with that. And now we have the Divine Fists and to pair up with it, the Luminous Robe. And that'll increase the damage by 50%, so her attack power will be nearly as much as with uh, the natural talent ability there. So that's pretty nice. And it lets me equip other things as well, so she's not just bare naked without any defenses to her at all. So that gives me a lot more flexibility with my setup there, instead of using natural talent. Natural talent is really, really good, don't get me wrong. But I do want to uh, use this setup now, especially for the upcoming boss. Oops, no, I didn't want to go to Southmore, I wanted to go to Westmore. Whatever. The, the cannons will not be shooting us down here. Let's see. Uh, oh, did I change something with... T oh, I changed the thief gloves, okay. And Agnes, actually, you know what? Hmm. No, actually, let's leave you on the Lustrous Shield. That should be fine for her. So yeah, even though Yoliana told us to go here, we have other things to do here now. You showed skill making it to our central command, Windbustle. <gasps> But unfortunately for you, you won't get any further if I can help it. Nice. Q Caesar? <laughs> I'm in fine form today. I'll show you how weak and pathetic you... Ha-ha. <laughs> uh -huh. Victoria! She's short-circuited! Victoria! Stable than I had feared. We must seek treatment at once. She's always unstable. Even with the treatment. But, okay. But alright, yeah, now we can go in there and... Well, you, you're supposed to... What is it? You're supposed to meet Yuliana on the top floor of the place there. and So we can do that. And we can also go over here to talk to Victor and 
Victoria. And that'll be the last of the 100% repeat boss fights with, like, the dialogue and everything going on there. It's mostly the same as before. They're a little stronger, and they do have some stuff that I would like to steal, but... Yeah, I mean, they're the last of the 100% refights, even though we're still gonna have others to fight, like the ones we haven't fought so far. Also, something I want to point out, since last time I sold all the extra weapons that we had before, and I've gotten all of the... Uh, all of the weapons that you can get from Narende there. So that's pretty nice. So the only things that I have left to buy are the golden egg and the growth egg to fill out my inventory. Everything else will either be found or stolen. There will be nothing more to buy after that point. But I'm still going to be stealing items so that I can buy all that stuff. What did Yuliana want to talk to us about in the chambers of the Council of Six? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Default. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.